Why don't you guys want pickles? I know. You guys sure do you guys want cat brains? No. No, no cat brains. You want chicken feet? No. You want pig feet? No. You want turkey legs? No. What's wrong with turkey legs? It's no. a beautiful day in my neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. No. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? I think he says it like one more time. But won't you be my neighbor? No. Would you be my neighbor? No. You wouldn't want to be my neighbor? Why not? You'd be my neighbor? Yeah. If we were in like a small neighborhood, small like neighborhood. Tiny, tiny, like tiny house, hey, tiny house, would it be like a pink tiny house? Would it have chickens? No. Do chickens live on the moon? No. Do cows live on the moon? No. Do Turtles live on the moon? No. You know, I kind of, I kind of went into the whole um, selflessness last Sunday, and this Sunday I was. This actually is something that I was really, really thinking about today. People are very, very, very judgmental. Very, very judgmental. And I think. This is something Sippy and I were actually talking about. If, you, if do you think, if Christ was to come back, anybody would even notice? Like, as far as a, another person, no one knows what I'm blurring out. There we go. No one would know. And people are so judgmental. What if he happens to be someone that person commonly or normally? places judge on I get judged I get judged a lot for many 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 different things from from tattoos to my uh, my choices my choices of freedoms and liberties you know that I carry firearms everywhere I go and kind of things like that people hate that there's a lot of people that hate that um, we have to find a cure for liberalism it, it has to happen but until that happens I, I still am faced with uh, you know the the angry people every day that that stare at me stare at me like a wackadoo you know with like I've got two heads or something you know but there's nothing I can't do anything to change the way people think about other people it's just going to be the way it is and like uh, people at the church don't know I make these videos I don't tell anyone that I don't, I don't broadcast it you know too many people locally when I get in a conversation with somebody locally, it's just me talking to somebody, you know what I mean? I just have a chat with somebody and that's it. That's that's all I do. I don't say, oh, well, you know, I'm Staff Sergeant Badass and I'm on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I don't do that trash. It's it's just dumb. I, you know, I just, I like communicating with people. I like talking to people. I've always been that way. I'm the dude that will talk to you in Walmart parking lot for like an hour about nothing, you know? I'm that guy. It's kind of like when I sit down at church, if we're in a Sunday school class, and, you know, I think it's crazy that that all the, uh, all the older guys, I'm going to say older guys, I'm going to be that's more politically correct. You don't say old man. You don't say that. I, I don't call, I, I call them a, a salty and very experienced. They have a lot of knowledge. So, uh, I like talking to those people and those people like talking to me and I love it. Uh, I really enjoy the conversations that I have with those people. Like today, I'll get to my point. I'll get to my point. If the video's long, it's long, it'll be alright. So like I had a had an older older young man <laughs> say that. He came up to me and was talking to me about his uh, rice storage. 
and uh, they've, you know, a lot of them have gradually started to learn that, uh, that I know something, I guess. I talk too much when uh, I'm in church. And it's not, I don't talk about what I do or the things that, the things that I've done. I don't do any of that. It's usually uh, someone talks about something and it leads to me saying, well, uh, I would do this or I would do that kind of thing. You know, if I were you, I would do this. That's kind of what I do. There we go. And the question came up, you know, questions come up about canning and stuff like that. And I just thought it was weird today that I had a question about rice. He says he has 70 pounds of rice stored in a container and uh, I think he's kept it in a shed or something. And uh, he, uh, he says it's vacuum sealed in bags. And I, I asked him like, well, he, he said he had a question about its age and if it's good or not, and that he found something with it. He said he found like uh, some of the some of the grains had turned black, and he wanted to know about that. And that's something that Sippy and I both kind of said at the same time. It could be uh, a type of mold growing on the rice. Don't worry, I'll get to my point in a minute. <laughs> He's so random. Yeah, it could be a type of mold growing on the rice, and he's going to give me some to to check it out and take a look at it. I thought I would share that with you guys and gals, and uh, I, I thought that was interesting. He's had it for seven years. Told him normally uh, eight years on storage for stuff like that. Then we got the people overheard us talking, and then you got everybody talking about food storage. This, that, and the other thing. You know, my granddad did this, and you know, great grandpappy did this, and all this different stuff so you you get that when when you start talking in public and that's all you have to do you don't have to tell anybody that you're prepping for this or you're prepping for that okay and who you choose to talk to right I'm not a judgmental person as far as the way a person looks and things like that it's what people say to me that turn me away it's it's anger it's the sense of anger my spider sense will kick on it's that sense of dislike in a man's voice i can i can sense it you know what it is you can feel it you sense it you know when someone when you've wore out your welcome or whatever it is you know what that sounds like and what it what it looks like right you know what it looks like and you know, I get faced with that a lot in public, in person, and I know I prefer not to be around those kinds of people, but the the topic Sippy Cup and I were into, like how I talk to random people, it does not matter who they are, I will walk right up to somebody or they walk right up to me and I'll have a conversation with them until they start talking negative. Then I don't talk to them anymore. Uh, I walk away. I don't need negativity in my life. None of you probably want negativity in your life. I don't like that stuff. I don't like that, you know, uh, the judgmental attitudes and things like that. I don't. I don't care for that. And, but, a lot of people will sit there all day long and just be so judgmental of what they see, uh, types of people in the world and stuff like that and. The best thing to do is just to, uh, the easiest way of saying this is just have good taste, you know, in what you say, what you say to other people, what you say out loud, what you say in front of your children, you know, have good taste when you, when you say things, because you don't know who's listening. And uh, this kind of goes back to my comment to my son, Charlie, about Santa Claus being real. I said, uh, you know... Heavenly Father and Santa is listening. <laughs> I said, if you're bad in school, he'll know. And he gave me that. I said, how does he know? And I said, Charlie, Santa's like the NSA. He knows what you're doing. <laughs> and he said he wanted a crab for 
for Christmas. I told him, I said, if you want one, you got to be good. Because he's thinking if he wrote a letter to Santa, he'd be good to go. Oh, Santa's got a letter? <laughs> I'm in there like swimwear. No. <laughs> it ain't over yet. You just got to keep being good. Just because you wrote a letter to saying what you wanted. Because he, he wrote on the little piece of paper that he wanted a crab. He wants one of those coconut crabs. That's the boy. But back to what I'm saying here. I listen to a lot of nasty comments uh, from other people, you know, talking about um, someone didn't smell so nice, I guess, at the church, and we're sitting there, and, you know, a couple of ladies, you know, this one, well, this one lady was telling her kid that uh, uh, somebody stinks, so they're leaving. You know, they couldn't deal with the smell. Have good taste. You don't say things like that. <laughs> people are just rude and nasty. But they wouldn't you know these uh you know a lot of them are high and mighty a lot of them are high and mighty too and i guarantee you am i being judgmental Eh, sort of i'm sorry <laughs> but i need to talk about this <laughs> but uh you know it says uh uh i know it says uh i think it's john i can't remember which scripture i read it but i know it said in john or somewhere there's a passage somewhere around in there that that actually says i'm actually at home depot now uh, but it says somewhere that, uh, um, you know, in times that the spirit hits you, right? And you get that feeling and it's a good feeling, right? Uh, you don't run around telling people that this is not the exact words, but I'm going to just sum this up because I don't know which one it exactly it is. But you don't run around telling people that you felt something. You don't tell anybody about your spiritual feelings unless you have a spiritual feeling that prompts you to do so. Is that weird? It's kind of like, like today, for example. Usually, I feel like making a video on Sunday because there's this feeling. I get this vibe. I want to do it. If I don't make one on Sunday, I didn't probably didn't get the vibe. So I won't make a Sunday rant. It'll just be a Sunday video. But uh, usually when I get this vibe, I do a video. So, um, and that's when you're supposed to do it. And going back to the, uh, the charity thing, because I had someone, you know, oh, well, you know, you don't tell everybody about your good deeds, you know, doing, uh, you know, bags for homeless. Okay. Well, this goes back to the scriptures, okay? Uh, the right hand doesn't tell the left hand what it's doing. That's, that's in Matthew somewhere. I can't remember which one it is. But the right hand doesn't tell the left hand what it's doing. So basically, if you're doing charity work and good deeds, you don't run around telling people you're doing so. You keep it quiet. You know, you're supposed to just do, do, do the good deeds. That's what, you're, that's what we're supposed to do. Now, this goes back to another scripture. If you feel the Spirit and the Spirit prompts you to do so, then you should do it. So, uh, <laughs> it's a double-edged sword, okay, folks? So, uh, yeah, it, you know, I'm not supposed to, you know, run my mouth, oh, okay, I'm doing this and this, you know. And then, uh, but keep in mind, that video happened and I still made it and nothing told me not to, okay? I'm just going to say that, all right? So if that video helped anybody, then that's what it was meant to do. It, there was no, uh, uh, you know, no other intent. I don't over, I don't, a lot of people overthink things and they overthink things to the point and they, they analytically pick things apart until there's nothing left of something, you know, they completely destroy their lives by this, you know, and this goes back to judgmental and things like that. You've got to, uh, if you've got a voice in there that does that, you got to comment and uh, just, you know, try and uh, try and not focus on wacky things like that and just uh, just keep breathing and stay alive for the most part. But you never know. What if uh, what if Christ returns and he happens to be sitting right next to you? Just saying. What if he smelled? Just saying. 
and then you had to be rude and nasty. I give him a hug. <laughs> All right, you're watching SOS. I'm at Lowe's now. I'm looking like a weirdo sitting in the parking lot. So, but you're watching SOS. I'm Stas Arm Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day, and uh, take it easy. I gotta get in here before they close. <laughs> God bless you guys.